SRS stands for Spaced Repetition System, and it's the secret to going from remembering maybe two vocab words after days of practice to mastering entire lists week after week. No matter what your level is, you can always improve your study techniques, and my secrets will help you remember vocabulary for the long term. I'm Kritika from Fluent U, and we want to help you learn French through real world videos so you can speak just like a native. In this video, I'll be covering the top 10 mistakes you're probably making, exactly what to do to fix those mistakes, as well as use some basic language science to show you why my techniques are so effective. If you think you're super dedicated practicing your flashcards every single day, think again. Your brain actually learns things the best when you practice it right as you almost forget it. And that's where a spaced repetition system, or SRS, comes in. With SRS, the easier a word is for you, the more time before you review it again. But if a word is really hard, you're probably going to forget it by tomorrow or even in a few hours. So you'll review it in the next 10 minutes. The easiest way to use an SRS system is to download Anki, which is a free app for your computer. All you have to do is input your words and it'll ask you whether they're easy, medium, or hard, and then adjust the intervals at which you practice them based on your responses. You can also look up some tutorials if you're more of a manual person to make a physical SRS system. So when I was studying abroad in Paris, I felt super cool because I could communicate with everyone, I could make my way around Paris pretty easily, and I could read exactly what was on the menu. But when it came to ordering the check for dinner, I realized I had no idea how to ask for that. Thank goodness my friend was with me and she said, l'addition s'il vous plaît. But I was pretty surprised that in my five years of learning French, I had never come across this extremely important word. This is because French classes are notorious for teaching you vocabulary in categories, whether that's clothing items or pizza toppings or parts of a room. But I've never been in a conversation where I'm discussing my ceiling and my floor and my desk and my dresser all in the same conversation. This is not how your brain intuitively learns words. Instead, you should think about scenarios. For example, if you're trying to go to the museum, you need to know different art styles and verbs related to meeting each other, like se retrouver. You need to have your numbers down so you can discuss times at which to meet, as well as words related to purchasing tickets. When you're a baby, you first learn words by attaching them to objects. That's why most children learn the word of their mom or dad first, because they keep seeing them, as well as their favorite objects, foods, or toys. So as an adult, why do you keep trying to learn words without visual aids? There is no way for your brain to connect the words that it sees to real life objects. So really, you should be switching all of your English words for pictures instead. That way, you're also not learning French by translating your English thoughts. Instead of saying, oh, that object, that's a stapler. C'est une agrafeuse. You'll just think, that object, c'est une agrafeuse. Especially with a language like French, you need to be hearing the different pronunciations of debout versus début, tréma versus très, because these nuances are important to the French language and can often change the meaning of words. So when you're practicing, don't just assume what the pronunciation is. I always use fluent you for flashcards because the pronunciation is a built-in feature, and you'll also get to hear the pronunciation of the word in sample sentences, because with French, that sometimes changes based on liaison. Let's take a really simple word like être. You can see that based on context, some people actually say être, while other people shorten it to être, and sometimes it's barely noticeable. And that's not all. Let me show you an example with the word gaban. So all you have to do is roll over and you literally get everything I'm going to be talking about. We've got a visual reference, the word in sentences, a pronunciation guide, and that allows for auditory recall because you're able to look at these video examples and sample sentences. Yep, nearly every single tip I'm about to give you all in one platform. There's a link to a free two-week trial of FluentU in the description, so be sure you don't miss out. I know we all have a voice inside our head, but when you're practicing French, I want to hear your real voice. When you're only practicing by looking at a word in front of you, you get that visual reinforcement, but you don't get any auditory reinforcement or any pronunciation practice. You have to say each word out loud so that your brain remembers hearing the word, seeing the word, reading the word, saying the word, and your tongue also gets practice making the word because your tongue is a muscle and you need to practice that pronunciation. Make sure that you're really loud and proud about it. Dessiner, oublier, bâtir, grossir, maigrir. Also, that way you're not tripping over French words while they come up in conversation and French has a lot of difficult sounds that you should practice forming. 
By the way, if you like this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's see if you can spot this next mistake. What's wrong with these flashcards? There's no articles on them. No, you won't learn the articles later, and yes, they're important. When you don't learn the articles for a word right away, then it's really hard to tack on adjectives. Is it le neige blanc or la neige blanche? It's also hard to add prepositions. Je suis à la maison, je suis au maison. To avoid this mistake, try writing a bell pepper instead of bell pepper. So that way you're cued in to respond with un poivron. Or if you watched our previous video and you're labeling things around your house, make sure that you always label things with their articles. And as a bonus tip, try adding both the indefinite and the definite article. So for peach, you would write une slash la pêche. That way, if you forget one, at least you remember the other. So going along with one of our previous tips, as your French gets more advanced, you will start learning words that just don't have a visual reference. For example, if you learn the word télécharger, how are you supposed to remember what that means? So to fix this problem, try adding words that you do know to words that you don't know, and make a sample sentence out of it. Je télécharge des chansons sur mon téléphone. That way, if you ever forget what your vocab word means, refer back to your sample sentence before looking up the English translation. Let me tell you something. Language is alive and it's constantly changing. If you're relying on outdated textbooks or vocab lists that were made 10 years ago, you might make the mistake of learning words that people don't even use anymore. Instead, use real-world content, whether that's YouTube, Netflix, or from a guided platform like FluentU. Like I said, you shouldn't learn your vocab in categories, so just collect words from what you're watching, and you'll find that your vocabulary becomes a lot more functional and useful this way. One great way I build my French vocabulary is by narrating my daily activities to myself or journaling. That way, I know which words are actually useful to my life. Let me tell you something, the words I don't know are ones that I just don't have a use for, or I don't come across on the day to day. So if you're just starting out and you're not a student, don't learn the words for school supplies. If you live in a very cold mountainous climate, don't learn beach vocabulary. Obviously, you do want to fill in these blanks later, but in the beginning, you'll just be frustrated if you learn a bunch of vocabulary, but still can't say anything that you actually want. So as you get more and more advanced in French, you'll really want your entire study session to be in French. So when you're learning new words, instead of writing the English definition, try writing a definition in French. For example, if you have the word la candidature, you could say c'est ce qu'on fait pour montrer nos expériences quand on veut un poste. That way, your brain isn't constantly switching languages, you also challenge yourself by writing these sentences, and you'll also feel comfortable asking people for help when you don't know a word in French. If you like this video, then you really need to hop over to our previous video on French pronunciation mistakes to avoid, because it'll clear up all of your confusion on how to pronounce French words. And to make it easier for you, we've also included a free PDF below of all of these vocab mistakes and how to fix them.